terrorism and cross proxy conflicts. We aim to champion the principles of respect, sovereignty, and peaceful coexistence. Principles that demand addressing core conflicts such as the Palestine and Kashmir issues with fairness and without bias. In our own region, global tensions echo profoundly on eastern and western fronts. However, we remain resilient in our resolve to foster peace and stability. Pakistan firmly believes that only through dialogue and natural respect, mutual respect in South Asia transform a theater of rivalry into a community collaboration. As we address internal security challenges, whether terrorism, organized crime, or social disunity, Pakistan remains committed to peace and stability in the region. Ladies and gentlemen, my vision for Pakistan is one that builds on our strengths, our strategic location, our rich cultural heritage, and our resilient people. We must channel these assets to foster a society based on inclusivity, justice, and good governance. This means embracing a governance model that empower local communities, strengthen institutional independence, and commits to depoliticizing economic planning. By doing so, we create a nation that is economically self-reliant, socially cohesive, and intellectually vibrant. To move forward, we must foster investor confidence by ensuring political stability and sound governance. Also securing peace and stability in the newly merged districts is imperative. We must empower local communities through socio-economic reforms, thereby closing gaps that allow terrorism and extremism, extremism to flourish. Moreover, since education remains the cornerstone of any nation's progress, we must equip our youth with the skills needed to thrive in a competitive, globalized world. Pakistan future depends on an educated, innovative, technologically adept workforce capable of driving sustainable development. On the front of climate change, mobilizing resources and engaging with multilateral institutions is essential to secure a resilient future of our country. At the same time, we must counter disinformation, winning the hearts and minds of our citizens, particularly our youth, is a must. This requires truth, transparency, and commitment to countering propaganda with evidence-based discourse. Another imperative is strengthening judicial systems, updating outdated laws, and implementing criminal justice reforms. This will empower our people and curb criminal activities that threaten national cohesion. Distinguished guests, our journey ahead lies not in isolation, but in unity and collaboration, both internally and with our global partners. Together, by adhering the principles of justice, inclusivity and resilience, we can navigate these turbulent times and emerge stronger. I thank you all for your dedication, your insights, and your commitment to a brighter future for Pakistan and our global community. Pakistan is in
اسلام آباد پالیسی ریسرچ انسٹیٹیوٹ کے زیر تمام عالمی چیلنجز سے نمٹنے سے متعلق مارگلا ڈائلاگ کے نام سے سیمینار کا اہتمام چیئرمین سینٹ سید یوسف زگیلانی اظہار خیال کر رہے تھے ان کا کہنا تھا کہ مستقبل کے چیلنجز